Oh, oh, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say all righty then. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee. It's Monday morning, May 1st. Can you believe it? And, uh, yeah, Coffee and Art in the Morning. It's a live show on Ustream.tv. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching the recording. And uh, try to come by sometime on the live show. I try to remember to put a link in the description box every time. But if you don't see one in one video, just go to another. It's usually there. So before we do anything else, if you all remember last week on the pencil organizing video, um, I threw up this right here. didn't throw up. <laughs> I put out that I was going to give away this pencil um, mesh bag and this pencil set that um, was in my pencil drawer. So I'm gonna, I, I put it out on my YouTube, I mean on my blog and anybody that wanted to post on my blog and we had 27 people i guess you had to watch the video to know i was doing this giveaway you had to watch the pencil video <laughs> so this morning while i was chatting with everybody um i wrote down all 27 names and i took out duplicates and things like that just so you know because one entry per person so now i'm going to go over here to random.org put in 27 num you know put in one through 27 and we're going to pick a winner from our little list here let's go over to random.org we're going to talk about color book notebooks to make you a color book notebook that's what we're going to do today after i get through with the um, purchases and chatting and what's going on and I got a letter I mean an email from Amazon that my um, my magicals my magical powder spray stuff should be here today Janet today so if it comes in the mail while I'm here then we'll do, we'll show that too okay so let's go to random.org and let's pick a number for a winner oh and i gotta do another i gotta uh, pull the pack of stuff for you guys too okay well we'll do that in a little bit okay so we're at random.org here's the little number generator here in the corner and we're going to do through 27 1 through 27 okay and we're going to generate number 19 so number 19 is Teresa P. And I have, and you know, she's on the, I'll go over to my blog and let her know. And um, yeah, Teresa P. You get this. So congratulations, Teresa P. And thanks everybody for participating and leaving nice comments over on the blog. I love doing these little things like this. All right, let me go back to my generator and make sure it has a number 100 in there because um yeah that that's what we'll do when uh when we come back so yeah yes a magical day <laughs> uh, okay so over the weekend uh hubster and i put in our garden we put in our garden on i was showing off my sister's garden from facebook um she's in texas and she, her garden is, oh my gosh, let me just real flip. I'll show you hers and I'll show you mine. Well, here's some of her flowers, but I wanted to show you her, there's her garden. She's in San Antonio. So there's her garden. I got to show it off, Jody. And she's already got, she put it in, I think about a month ago. And she's already got cucumbers. She's got tomatoes. She's got, <laughs> she's already been frying up the squash. Let me see, where's that? Oh, here's um, some of her cucumbers and squash. And then she, she's already cooking it up. So, yeah, Jody does awesome gardening. We, and of course, she's like, in, you know, in, being in San Antonio, she could put it in way earlier than mine. Not that mine will probably ever look that uh, big. <laughs> Anyway, so mine is, here's mine's, mine right now. Let's see. So, yeah. <laughs> and 
anyway, but I did put in some pretty Gerber daisies in the front, so yeah. There. Then I told Jean she needs to paint these. She needs to paint them in a pretty glass jar because Jean paints awesome watercolor glass. So, yeah, we'll try to get Jean to do that. And then one more thing I got to show. My mom showed me a picture. This is her most recent page she colored. There's mom's color, her page that recently, she just finished this one. So that's awesome. There's my mom's color, page, color book page. What else do I have to show off? <laughs> we'll find something. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Then at Michael's this weekend, I got, well, first I booked a million. I did buy a new uh, fashion magazine. I only buy one every six months or so. And I buy them to do uh, sketching practice. And to show you guys, when we do a sketching something, I like to have fashion magazines. So I bought a new fashion magazine. They're only like six bucks um, to, to do some sketching for y'all. Then um, I got two frames. Let me show you the frames and what I'm going to do with them. So these frames were in the clearance section. I bought two of them. They're really nice wood. They're 11 by 14. It comes with a mat, which I'm not going to, I'm going to take the mat out probably because I'm going to do like a scrapbook page with, um, I, I like to have two pictures in my uh, uh, dining area of the kids in their um, in the new scrapbook page. Well, it, new photos, new photos. Anyway, so these frames are nice like a cherry wood it's hard to see these were five dollars each five dollars each there's no scratches there's no dents i don't know why they were on sale but that's a, i wish you could see how pretty the wood is it's a nice cherry wood they're so pretty so what i'm going to do with this one is bam this one's going to be for boo and i'm going to you know i'm going to scrapbooky up the background so there's that one and then here's the one i'm going to do for cam so yeah so those are what i'm going to do with those two frames so that was a bargain so let's put that up here then i got at michael's the only thing i really got was those frames and one pack of washi tape they have a new um a new line let's put this over here so we have some camera focus they got a new line of uh, of uh, a new line they have a scrapbook paper and little journals little faux dories uh, all kinds of little uh, washi tape tubes tubes oh washi tape so I got uh, one tube, and they're like $14.99 or something like that for a tube, but I had a 40% off coupon. I'd never pay $14 bucks for one of these. But I would for... Uh, <laughs> thanks, Abby. Um, so I, uh, I, I used my 40% off coupon on this. So let me just show you the ones that come in it. Let's see if I can... I don't know. Let me see if I move my light a little closer. So this one's like um, palm fronds. This one's got gold foil and hi I think hibiscus. Okay. Then this one just says ocean beach. <clears throat> ocean beach. Sunshine on it. Tropical. I did not get anything with a flamingo. So Eileen will be happy. Uh, comparing the... I haven't played with them enough to really say, Julie. I can't really say. Um, palm trees with a pink stripe in the back. This one is a toucan keep cool. Toucan keep cool. Toucan dance away. So the little toucans on this one. This one says, sun, sand, smile, surf. And it's a gold foil with pink lettering. This one's pineapples. Uh, 
And then this one is tropical, like uh, trop oh, tropic like it's hot. Catch some rays, I think. See see the day surfs. Yeah, so it's a little surf tropical words on there. And then this one is a dark blue with, uh, I think it's dark blue. Yeah, dark blue with gold foil design. So this whole set right here was, I think, $14.99, but I used a 40% off coupon. They come in those little tubes, those little plastic tube things. So, yeah, got that. And uh, what else? I think that's all I got at Michael's. I think I got a magazine, but yeah, I know those are pretty washies. So what I want to do today, after I take a sip of coffee, I want to go to, let me go over here on my iPad. Um... is talk about uh, a color notebook. All right there, I got that, so I can save that. So we've done this before. I wish Eileen was here, because she loves this stuff. This is Eileen's thing. <laughs> um, I've shown you know some different notebooks that I have with color combinations, and I use design-seeds.com, but you can use um, if you go to like the paint store, Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever, over in the um, in the decorating department, and they have the little flyers and foldouts of different color combinations for room settings. You know, you might see a yellow and a blue, sh two shades of blue, or you know, they have the color combinations in the little flyers, the little booklets. So that's a place that you can get color combinations. I like Design-Seeds.com, and I've been using them for. Well, I guess a few years, way before I started doing uh, YouTube, uh, back when I was just streaming, because I this that's how this notebook is, and um, this is just I've take kind of taken it apart and put some of it over in another notebook. But what I want you to, and I'm showing you the old one first. So what you can do is take, and you don't even have to take all the colors that is on um, an idea uh, design seed page and you can get them to email you I think it's twice a day they'll email you a color combination or you can just go there and, and scroll back which is what we're going to do today we're going to just scroll back and pick some different color combinations and um, and the reason we're readdressing this now because this is before I was doing color booking um, we were just doing little color combinations and how to use them but now that you're, you, you know, we're all coloring in color books and people are always saying, well, I don't know what colors to pick. I don't know what kind of color combinations. So if you get lost at that in that area, then if you make you color charts, then you can say, well, I don't know what colors to use for this or that. And it doesn't matter what you're coloring. You can color like I just did that cactus which I did in greens and reds. But let's just say you wanted to do it in purples and pinks. It, you know, whatever kind of color combination you want, if you have five, six, seven colors, hey Miko, if you have five, six, seven colors, um, basic main colors to go from, then you won't get lost in uh, color combinations. So let's see here, are we too flashed out? Let me see. I turn the brightness down just a tad here. So, yeah. So these are some uh, uh, older samples from, you know, some projects we've done before. <laughs> I don't remember where all the projects were. Uh, it might have been where we were trying to use up our supplies by color. Um, I have I have her markers and her pencils. Um, I loved, I liked her uh, markers, the mermaid markers, and I did not like the pencils. But then I'm used to other pencils, so that's just me, you know. Nothing wrong with them. I just didn't, I just don't like them compared to like my Prismas or others. So, yeah. 
but I do like the mermaid markers and we've done uh, we've used them as watercolors so um, so these were some ideas off of design season what I think we were doing at the time was trying to use our supplies in different colors so like I have some washi tapes here and no telling what we were doing at the time we we're probably using pencils paints all kinds of different things also it's a, a way to do mind mapping idea generating so I don't know if some of that might be in here too yeah okay so here on the back of this one so if you took the colors what do these colors remind you of and you map them out here's a scrap piece of paper and how you can like I think we said butter churn like this was a color of butter and so when you think of butter what do you think of like we I had churn on the back okay a butter churn and then we had uh, what color did we do something for the blue I guess we didn't do the blue but anyway so you can mind map out your colors and get more ideas on what to draw from them so in today's show I kind of wanted to use this idea for your color book uh, color inspiration and color combinations but this is good for any kind of color you know anytime you need a color combination <coughs> or ideas now I'm not going to go through the whole idea generating thing because I've done many shows on the uh, mind mapping and ideas and and collecting colors and generating ideas from those colors so I'm just going to kind of concentrate on using the color combinations in color books hey Eileen we're readdressing color combinations today so these are some of the things that were just thrown in here like here some and, and, oh and let me also say this I think some of these I did with uh, neo colors um, and I might do some with neo colors today some with markers pencils it doesn't matter what um, supply you use whether it can be acrylic paint watercolor your neo colors your markers your color pencils any of it it's just that you know you want enough colors to have a little bit of uh, secondary shades I know wasn't it fun Eileen that's why I was saying earlier that um, Eileen really likes the color combination thing so um, using just uh, the neo colors to do little blocks of color is what I used I think back on on when I did these so they're just all different color okay so like from the from the word butterfly we did fairy wings and anyway we did a whole thing on that I won't go all that but like here's um orange sienna a kind of a teal blue and a dark gray and just showing the kind of combinations like you may not think that those colors hey Marilyn you may not think of those colors as being combinable because you just hadn't thought of it before bright orange sienna a tealy blue and a dark gray so that's the benefit of having different um, color combinations either in paint chips and and that sort of thing from the hardware store or a place like design seeds I just like design seeds because not only do they do color combinations they show a photo and it's just very inspiring and then we just had all just di different kinds of uh, little sketches and stuff here to color with the the ideas which I'm not going to go through that because that's not the point of this one okay so from this little notebook here using design seeds and let me just take a minute to show that to you because then we're going to go into another notebook <laughs> we all need mo lots of notebooks right and again the colors are probably not going to show up that well with the flash you know the can is going to flash out but what I want you to see it's it's design dash seeds dot com and they have a blog that you can go by collection you can go by color I'm just gonna go by whatever's here on the front okay so there's a color almanac uh, seasonal colors I might have to pick something okay let's go by collection okay so here's how you can um, 
let's see do I want this to search by collection I don't want to search I want to explore hang on let me find some um, here we go I want to just be able to scroll through no I don't want Instagram hang on hang on I don't want Instagram let me find just where I can scroll through a bunch um, maybe by color let's see I want by color combination I'm just picking a color just to see here okay maybe this will be so I just picked I just picked uh, I clicked on blue yeah and they post on Twitter every day Instagram um, you're welcome Kay um, and you can find them everywhere okay I just clicked on the blue so what I want you to see though is see how they put little paint chips so let me just get a sample here let me just I'll just pull my neo colors over here um, but you can use any color any you can use a box of crayons you know I would even recommend you using a box of what 964 96 whatever a box of Crayola crayons it's not the it's not the uh, supply you use when you do this it's the colors that you combine and keep a record of. So let me just grab one of these sheets here just to show you. And then we'll go into the other notebook. Okay. So maybe if I turn it sideways here. Okay. So we have kind of a pinky peach color. And it's going to look probably look different to you. It's almost a little bit more purple than that. Well, no, it really isn't. It's kind of like a peach color, a lavender, a navy blue or a dark blue, an indigo blue, a kind of a sea blue, a baby blue, and kind of uh, almost a blue, purpley blue. I don't know, let's see. It's almost a combination of this one with a little purple in it. So I'll just kind of add a little bit of purple like that. Something like those colors. And you can take more time. I'm just rushing through this just to kind of show you the idea. So here's, here's you a set of colors that you may not have thought to ever use together right there's six now if you're doing a, uh, a, a color book page you might just want to pick five you may want to start with just four or if you don't like this combination go to a different page right um, so and they even give the numbers um, that they are in probably Pantone, Pantone no, uh, numbers um, okay so here's another one let's go ahead and do this so I can get to it just by touching the blue color these are what I'm getting with the blues okay and then they'll give you a picture to go with like here's some uh, flowers that have these colors in them yeah so and this is just by touching the blue color here's another one with uh, let's do this one real quick this one has kind of a, a, a apricot color a um, an olive green, the indigo, and again a couple of shades of the blue, this lighter blue, and then the darker blue. It's more maybe this color, and then a light gray. Let's find a light gray. Here we go. Uh, that's dark gray. I need a light gray. Here we go. And a light gray. Whoops, light gray. <laughs> so, anyway, so if you keep track of these, yeah, exactly, for a color book page. If you keep yourself a chart, and you can do it neater than this. I have some little, um, I have some little squares cut out somewhere. Let's see. If you want to do it real neat, what do I do with that? somewhere here 
anyway or you can just do some little squares like I like to just hand draw them but you can do the little you can do them neater but I like little scratchy little little squares like this and you can always add the water to them too if you use your neo colors I mean you know let me clean my brush as I go <clears throat> Or just use Crayola crayons. <coughs> it's a way to keep a color references, right? Color references. And you can do this in watercolor. You can do anything. It's, it's not important what you do it in for uh, your charts. What's important is that you keep the charts. Now, if you don't want to do all, go to all that trouble, then just keep your design seeds handy and scroll through and find some colors. Like I said, right now I'm in the blues. Um, but they give you a random one, every, and they're on Pinterest too. They give you, maybe it's the Atlas, maybe, okay, yeah, there's Spring. Okay, let's go to Spring Collection. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So, yeah. Let's see, do I want to scroll this way or that way? Okay, so here we go. Oh, it's probably not going to... Alright, so here's some pinks, lavenders, and greens. Here's some, uh, like, uh, sky blues, ocean blues, tan, like sand colors. Um... I don't need to, I'm trying to scroll here. Here we go. Maybe this is where I need to be. There's so many different kind of combinations. <laughs> you can go by color. You can go by season. You can go by their theme. Like this is under Awaken. So there's just so many different things that you can look under for color combinations. You see? Hey, Mac, anybody else I missed? <clears throat> So, it's just a way to keep, um, let's see, let's go back by collection. Let's go to the seasons. See, like they have, um, here's autumn. It's taking a second to load. Autumn, color collage, culinary colors, floral colors. I hope you all can see a little bit. If I get too close, it's just going to flash out, so, um, yeah, design-seeds.com, and then you can go through and just look. There's, I mean, literally, guys, there's thousands. They've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> there's thousands of them, and they should post a little picture, like there's some cactus, and then there's cactus colors. This one's summer. This one's succulents. This one's called slow living, spring, sweet tooth, sea, winter, wa wanderlust. And every one of them has a different thing under them. So anyway, what I wanted to show you is, uh, here's wa Wanderlust Hues. So like they have a pretty teal, a forest green, a, a green, a tan, a light, lighter tan, uh, a gray. And then there's all the uh, color codes. And so, yeah, it's just... It's just tons of inspiration for color combination. Again, you can go by the color itself. So you can like search by color. So let's say you're going to do a fall picture. Maybe you want lots of oranges in it. <clears throat> and nobody's paying me this to talk about this or anything. I just want y'all to know that this is out there. Isn't it awesome? Okay, so here's Flora Dream. Two shades of uh, lavender, kind of a rosy, uh, a rosy pink, an orange, like a tangerine, uh, an orangey tan, and a peach. So you may not have thought to use those colors, but if you keep them in a notebook, okay, keep them in a notebook of any kind. It can be a, it can be a composition book. It's, again, depends on how much time you want to spend, what you want to do, how much you're going to use it, or you can just go right to here and, um, and find, find color combinations, right? 
So let's go back to another color. Let's go by, let's go by collection again. In nature, let's see, okay. I was going to pick by nature, but it already clicked. Okay, by collection in nature. Okay. There's just so many. It's like, it's a whole color world over here. All right, so here, so they give you a little picture that might inspire you. And um, and then they, like this is May 1st. This is today's, uh, today's um, offering, okay? And then here's yesterday, because every day they give you one or two. And then you can also go over to, there's a subcategory that has a secondary colors as well. Okay, so um, yeah. So look how pretty these are. Let's just do one real quick again, just to show you. Okay, and again, it's a little, you know, eh, there we go. <laughs> so we might have a bluey lavender, kind of a blue color, kind of a, it's a little bit purpler than that, but you know, you can combine your colors if you think, eh, maybe I want it a little bit more purple, but what it's a, totally up to you. And then a dark blue, a darker purple, kind of a, uh, let's see, it's kind of a magenta color. Again, it doesn't have to match perfectly. <laughs> you just, you know, you can customize it to yourself. And a kind of a very pale green. And if you use colors, you know, your Crayolas, yeah. If you use your Crayolas, you got 96 colors or more, you know. So there's a pale green, kind of a peachy pink, a kind of a magenta color. Here's a plum, like a plum color. I'm just cleaning off my brush as we go. Kind of an indigo blue color and kind of a light blue purpley color. See, see? So if you didn't know what color, let me just grab a color. Mm -hmm. So walk in Eden here. So on my walk in Eden, in like here's an example where I pick three colors. So here I have a lime green, and this is actually a lime green too. It looks yellow on camera, but it's a very pale, pale lime green. A couple of shades of lime green, uh, a raspberry red, and a gray. And so, so far I've done all this just with those three colors. Well, two shades of three shades of lime, but it's still lime, and then raspberry and gray. And so I've done all this in just those three colors. So you can take your colors and, and what you don't have to use all of them if you don't want. But I like the idea of the six colors that Design Seeds gives you. And um, so yeah, you just have so many, so many options. So every day, you can have them email you, and I think it's twice a day that they email you. I, right now, I'm seeing one a day. Nested hues. So here's like robin egg blue, browns, a golden tans, golds and tans. So isn't that cool, guys? So if you just don't know what color combinations, you know, just get your, get your box of Crayolas out. Or whatever you want to use. You can use your use your Prismas, you know, whatever um, supply you want. Because, again, it's not important what you use. It's just that you can get these colors. I mean, if you have this color in paint and that color in a Prisma color, you know, use them both, you know. Look at this one. It's got two shades of lavender, uh, a sienna, an orange, a peach and a tan. See? Isn't that cool? Yeah. So there's just tons and tons of color combinations. And again, you can get up. There's new ones every single day. <clears throat> so, <coughs> so what I want to show you, though, is you can make you a notebook. 
and I just covered this um, Home Depot one with some scrapbook paper just to make it pretty. And right there, I got a, I think I set it in some water. Let me kind of smooth that out a little. Okay, so anyway, make you a notebook. And I've shown this before, but I've added some things to it. Let me move my Neos before I knock these off the end of the table. And you can do this to customize whatever you want to do. You can use it for your swatches. You can use it for your ideas. You can use it for um, uh, your color combinations like I just showed you. And you're welcome. Uh, so anyway, your, I got color wheels in here. I have, here's all my um, prismas. All charted, all uh, swatched. <clears throat> Okay, so you can do that with, um, here's my luminance. So you can color, uh, swatch all your pencils, paints, your Neo colors. I have my Neo colors in here. I have my ink tints in here. I don't have my acrylic paints in here because I don't have every acrylic paint. Um, but you can, whatever you want to swatch, you can divide these up by color. Use a little piece of, uh, uh, card card stock, color card stock, and make you tabs, and uh, then under those you can do your paint chips. If you pick up paint chips, color combinations. Here's my Peerless and my Neo colors. So I've got both of those in here, and I got this idea from Bunny uh, Heather to if you if you use your water soluble mediums like Neo color and you swatch it you it, it's enough there's enough on here now i'm i'm not going to carry this around heather makes little ones where she swatches everything and then you can just pick it up and you actually use it off of here so you could actually make this a book where you could use it yeah it is it's it's a great way to uh Keep your color combinations, swatches, and then my peerless are in here so I can, um, can use my peerless. See, look. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't take much to pick up a peerless. See? And I swatched right next to it because it's hard to tell. The chips look all the same until you swatch them and they're different. So any kind of thing like this. And then I put plastic in between too. And this is just a cut down piece of um, page protector. So that if you close the book when it's wet, it just gets on the plastic and not on your other stuff. Um, but you can also use this to, um, let's put a little pink and a little dark red over there. And you can combine your colors. Cut, make it like a, um, you can use it for like a palette. Okay, so there's just all types, and I know everybody has in their head what's best work, what works best for them. Hey, Carol Renee. So yeah, and then I have it, you know, just divided up with, um, you know, different color combinations. So yellows, greens, purples, blues. light blue, dark blue, and again, my Peerless, my Neo Colors, and then I think I have my ink tint. Yeah, and I have the ink tints on the back side of them. Here's my ink tints. So again, you can pick up some of this and use it if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use this as like a palette. You know, maybe the Peerless I might, but you know, it's just an idea. Heather, I got that from Heather. But you can just swatch them out and see, you know, like I said, these are the ink tints. But if you swatch out all your supplies, you can see color combinations, especially if you use this along with something like Design Seeds. So, make you a, a notebook for, um, for, you know, just a little cheap notebook, whatever, to, to put your color combinations in. Okay, let me take a second real quick and heat gun the back of this, guys, because I got it wet somehow. Hang on. I 
just set it down in some water or something. Okay. So, any questions on that? Oh, sorry, Dot. And again, use whatever, you know, you could paint this, you know, or just use one like these right here. I get these at uh, Staples. They're just the little, you know, plastic ones like this. It's, it's all good. Use a uh, composition book. Composition book um, for your color swatches or color combinations, I should say. So that way you can pick colors to use. Now, so the next thing I wanted to show you was, let's go ahead and take, let me bring my nails back over here for a minute. And this. Let's move my new little washi tape I showed y'all earlier. And I guess I'll go ahead and use a walk in Eden. So we'll try to not flash out here. And what I want to do is let me get over here to piece of paper and back up the light turn it get my get my design seeds back and I'm gonna pick a random but well let's go with today's color let's see um, by collection I think I'm not sure if it starts there I don't know maybe okay I, I kind of like this let's just go with this this is from April 18th all right oh wait I lost it <laughs> I clicked it I can't click it let's just go to in nature uh, let's go to creature color. See, there's just so many subcategories you can choose from. Okay, creature color. Let's see what comes up here. I could probably do it quicker on my phone, but okay, here we go. This is cool. This is some ocean colors. Okay, so let's see. Let me just pick the colors that I want. A light gray. Let's see. Let's go with a light gray that's not that's not a that's too I want a cool gray that's a warm gray let's see let's just go with this gray okay let's go with the gray a kind of a baby blue an indigo there and I need a dark I mean a mid blue let's see which mid blue do I want and sometimes you gotta just test what color? No, that's not one I want. Let's see this one. Maybe that one. Let's just go with those blues. Those four, gray and three blues. Kind of a bright orange. That, that's good. I'll tell you the colors I'm picking here in a minute. And that's another gray. So I'm just going to go with these. I'll just ignore that last gray. Because it's kind of a blue gray. I'm just going to go with grays and the blues. So I'm going to go with five colors, okay? Um, the colors are from design-seeds.com. <clears throat> Let me take a sip of coffee, guys. Again, you don't have to have Neo colors to do this. Use a box of Crayola. box of Crayola crayon. All right, so, I, and I'll probably zoom in here again. I'm going to start with these colors anyway. Doesn't mean you have to just does. Oh, my gosh, that color wasn't in the combination, so I can't use it. Don't be like that. You pick whatever will work for you. All right, so let's just do something kind of uh, small, uh, maybe something odd like this weird chandelier. And I'm going to, I'll refocus the camera and all that when I uh, zoom in, guys. Let's see. Or how about this? I'm not sure what kind of little landscape this is supposed to be. <laughs> that may, may not be uh, busy enough. Let's get something a little bigger so you can see it. I like I'm saying, I'm thinking this might work because it's bigger. Okay, so now I'm going to do a couple things. I am going to, because I will want to do more shading after I put a wash base on, I'm going to see if I have my Pris I'm going to find Prisma color colors to go with this. But first we're going to do the uh, wash. So let me go ahead and zoom in here and readjust my camera guys uh, to that's too close. Let's back out two there. All right now let me readjust the um, whoops let's get the color here. 
gonna brighten it up a little. One moment, guys. Whoops, too flashed out. Hang on, guys. I'll find I'll find us <laughs> our right light here in just a minute. See, it's wanting to be pink, and I don't want it pink. There we go. That's a little better. Maybe it's my white nails that's throwing it off. <laughs> I don't want it too flashed out. Maybe that's good. Okay, we'll try that. Okay. <laughs> then, guys, the white is just um, LA Colors. Um, I don't know. What else it is? Energy Source is the color I think anyway all right so we're gonna go I think you know what I think it's this lamp over there that's skip there we go that lamp was throwing the yellow on there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with these colors and then we'll go in and shade with um, uh, Prismacolor now with me all right so we don't have to think about the color combinations I think I'm gonna want this this uh, big flower here I'm gonna start with that as being um, orange this orange color now one of the things and it may not be orange enough mm, we'll see I, I can always add color pencil like I said this is just our base color so again, this book, let me show it, is A Walk in Eden, Anders Nielsen. So, yeah. And it won't go through as long as you don't oversaturate. This was my this brush right here. I need a, my other. This one's kind of worn out. Hang on, let me find my better water brush. <sighs> Here we go. They last a long time, but they will eventually start to sp the you know start to spread. And you don't have to have a water brush; it's just easier when you're, especially when you're using something like Neo Colors. And uh, it's the water that makes things go through the pages. So if you want something really dark or darker then dry it with a heat gun or just wait till it's dry before you add another layer because it's the water that makes things go through okay hey Carrie Ann anybody else passing through all right and again the other thing to do when you're doing a color book page I find is helpful is to go through and mm -hmm. use use your colors around like there's gray here, there's gray here, the ducks are gray. There's bright lime green here, lime green here, lime green here, and down here in the corner. If you spread the colors around, it will make your page look more cohesive. Now in this case, we're just kind of doing one item. So, oh, have fun. Have fun, Marie. Um, and, and, and something like this, it's just so organic. I mean, you can't do it wrong. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, no, that can't be something orange, you know, because it's not any certain thing. So it's not like you're going to color something wrong. You know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> so, yeah. Might want that a little orange and maybe this thing over here, whatever that is. And I might want some more things orange, too. I'm trying to move my book around so I'm everywhere you guys are. But it's still not... Eh, maybe I'm just kind of too close. I don't know. We always fight with the light. It's always a fight with the light. That's too dark.
Maybe that's good. Nope. There. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to trying to get it just right for you guys. All right. Um, <laughs> Vicky, it didn't upload to the. They're talking about the werewolf that I worked on on Saturday. It didn't upload to YouTube. Every now and then we get those weird glitchy things and that one. It's on Ustream, but it didn't upload to YouTube. So if you want to watch the werewolf um, details, um, I'll try it again later. But I tried a whole bunch of times to get it to load and it wouldn't. So, all right, here we go. I think we're good now. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, eh. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with the darkest blue. And pick out some areas. I think I want this little branch. And this is just my base. And then I'll go in and uh, do, like I said, shade with color pencil. The other thing that's good about keeping a color notebook is if you are working on more than one page, if you're working on multiple color book pages and you want to keep track of the colors you're using on that page then make you a little flap a little tab make you a tab of current ongoing color book pages and swatch out the colors that you're using put the name in that of that book and not just for now but later on some you know later on someone will go oh well what color did you use on that Bennett Klein book. Well, I'm not going to remember. You probably wouldn't remember either. But if you have a little tab, um, if you have a, a color book, current color book, you know, what you're coloring, <laughs> tab for that, then you can uh, reference it. So there's another thing to put in your color book, color collection, color notebook, whatever you want to call it. Your swatches, your color ideas, your color combinations, what things are colored, um, the supply you used. Like you may not remember if you used ink tints, neo color. Um, <laughs> I think it's kind of a cool chandelier, yeah. Um, did you use, did you use an acrylic wash? Did you use a, uh, neo color wash? Did you just go straight in for pencils? What did you use? You know, you may, you probably aren't going to remember. And, um, so having a notebook with all those combinations and, and, um, references in it, will help you remember, will keep you, you know, you'll remember. And also, if you don't, if you're like most of us, you don't color one page completely before you move on to another one. So, yeah. Think of that little bit. I didn't do coloring books, but this is an excellent idea. Yeah, and it's not just, not even just for color books, but for color combinations. Like I said, that first notebook that I showed you, this one, we did this one years ago, before, way before I was color booking with, with Design Seed color combinations for other projects. And then we mind mapped out what those colors are. Like if you think of lime green, what do you think of besides a lime? What other kind of things do you think of? And we made mind mapping and, and design ideas. So, yeah. It doesn't have to be just for color booking, for sure. Okay, so now I'm going to go with uh, a gray. So I'm going to go in here with a gray. And let's see what I want. Your, your son just handed you some Prisma colors? Oh, how nice. A good son. You raised him right. <laughs> yeah, Eileen said lime green is Eileen and Jean. Yeah. <laughs> good one, Eileen. 
<laughs> and let's see what else do I want this gray I think I might want these little branch things down here to be gray I could probably do you know I'm just gonna put a little bit of wash here most of these tiny gray I mean tiny little stems I'll do a pencil uh, I don't really need a wash on those because they're going to be completely covered up with pencil but I'll put a little bit on here so I know what color I want that to be okay same for over here I think I'll do this light gray and maybe right under here some of this uh, organic stuff nice all right now I'm going to go to the light blue do this big crystal again this is just the wash would be lots of shading on it or blend you know uh yeah shading okay then I think I'll do now I'm going to go back to the orange I think I want these spots to be this orange color And I think I want this little top bit to be this orange color. But it kind of takes the fear out of figuring out what colors if you have five main colors or six. I pick five out, out of the six. All right, I think I'll do, I think I'll do one, two of these diamonds triangles all right now let's go back to the light blue I think I'm going to do this striped why not bright I see you thanks for stopping in then I think I'll do one of these light blue and one of them gray so you see how it's kind of coming together kind of quickly all right, I'm going to go back to, let me go to the regular blue that we picked. I have another blue here, and I'm going to put that blue. In here. So we have like three shades of blue, a gray, and an orange. I'm getting a little out of line there. I have to go over it with a Posca. Again, this is just the initial wash. After I finish with the wash, I'm going to find my Prisma colors that cord that are the you know close to these colors to do the shading. No, it's a chandelier, Kate. <laughs> well, that's what we're thinking. That's what we're calling it anyway. <laughs> and then I think some of the. I might put a let's put a shadow over here on that of this this blue. Give those crystals a little oomph. And I think I might do that a little on the gray right there too. Just give it a couple colors. And then I'm gonna go back to the light blue. I might almost leave that. I think I might just leave that white. Maybe I'll put a little bit of a shadow. Let's just put a quick little shadow like that, a little shadow. And then I'll put a, go back over it with another layer of orange like that. 
same thing with this darker blue of this one. I think I'm going to go ahead and shadow the side a little bit. Just go right over it and make a shadow. There we go. Too much. There we go. All right now, go back to the orange. Put another layer. Oh yeah, Laura. We we're talking about you. You weren't here, but we're using Design Seeds, Design Dash Seeds dot com for our color inspiration and picked five colors based on one of their color combinations. They had six colors. I left off one of the grays. And uh, and doing the chandelier. We're thinking it's a chandelier. <laughs> From a Dr. Seuss. Yeah. It's those little furry things. That's what it is. Because, you know, Dr. Seuss, they always have those little furry necklaces. Well, furry necks. I don't know if they're necklaces, but yeah. <laughs> they have those furry necks. <laughs> These kind of things like this around their neck. Okay. I think I'm going to have the underside of this flower to be orange. And then the top side to be light blue. Put a little bit of orange down under there. Again, this is just the wash over the for the base. All right, now I'm going to go back to the light blue. Whoops. And let's see what else. I need a little bit of orange over here. That little key or whatever it is. That. And probably this too. A little orange on the bottom. And let's see, let's go back to the medium blue. Let's put a little bit of that in here. And maybe over here, a little stripe. And right here, a little on the top, and then this one as well, and that'll be gray. Then I want the very dark blue in here. And right up under there. Okay. Oh, we've got one little spot over here. Let's see. I think I'll do that with gray. Go back to the gray. Do that gray. Okay. I think I'm covered with, you know, at least enough of the wash. All right. So let's start with that. Now I want to, let's dry it. Move my coffee out of the way. See now how we doing on color. I guess we're we're good. Okay, now I want to get my pencils. And pick, you know, a few shades of blue and an orange. So let's do a couple shades of orange. Like this is carmine red, which to me is like a dark orange. Okay, we're gonna go with that. We'll go with a blue, just a, I think a cobalt blue. Yeah, just a general blue. I want an indigo. Let me find my indigo. Indigo. I always put a tape on my indigo blue so I don't confuse it with the black. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I'll tell you all the colors in just a second. Um, a light blue, but that may not be the right light blue I want. 
um, kind of a tealy blue. Because remember, I'm trying to go with the same colors that I got here in my, you know, uh, that's too green. I don't want too green. Let's see. And I may not need that after all. Maybe. And I'm trying to kind of match. I almost need a, a baby or blue, a baby blue. Maybe that one was better. Yeah, there we go. Those blues. And a gray. I think my gray's over here in the bag. Need a cool gray. That's a warm gray. Let's see, a couple of cool grays. I'll go with a, a little bit darker and a little bit lighter cool grays. All right, so these are the colors. Oh, and an orange. I do need an orange. An orangey orange. Okay, so let me tell you the colors that we used in the Neo color. Then I'll tell you the colors that I picked for in the Prisma color. Okay? Again, this is from our design seeds. Did I keep it on the iPad? Let's see. Yeah, so these are the colors from the designseeds.com. I did not pick two grays or two similar, so I just left off that one and just went with those five colors right there. All right, so the colors in the neo color again, don't think that you have to have neo colors, you can, you can use anything for your design seed color combinations, right something similar doesn't have to match exactly all right so but the colors that i picked from my neo box are light cad red which to me cad reds lights especially you know they're kind of orange um and i did not even look at the names of the colors when i picked them from design seeds i went by the color not by the name light blue blue night blue which is like an indigo and a and gray those are the colors that i i picked right out of the um from the design seats i know right vicky and good morning by the way if i'm just saying hi to you then in my uh, prisma colors and whether i use all of them or not these are just what i picked out indigo blue cobalt blue Light Cerulean, Cat Orange, Carmine Red, and a light and a dark cool gray. Those are the colors that I picked to shade. Okay, now this is 100% dry. Let me get my sharpener over here. It's 100% dry before you start shading. And I think I'll start with my two oranges. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start with shading the, the, with the darker one and just start coloring in. If this isn't going to be dark enough, I'll get a, even a darker orange. Or like a, um, I'll go with uh, something a little on the brown, you know, orangey brown side if I want it darker. And then I'm going to blend with the orange. I want it a little darker up underneath here. Under the petals. And I might want a lighter. And I might even want one shade lighter. You don't have to just stick with this. You can go shades, hues, lighter, right? Uh, let's see. And this is just orange. It's a little brighter. So I'm going to get the tips of the petals that color. So it's your color inspiration from Design Seeds. Now I'll take, um, let's see, let me sharpen this. Let's be a little darker. Um, Well, it's kind of like a sienna color. I think it's pumpkin. Pumpkin orange. Pumpkin orange. And pumpkin orange is just a little bit darker. 
I might even have to go with the sienna if I want it even more shadowed. I hope you can see. There you go. I think I need to zoom in. Let's zoom in a little more. There we go. Okay. So if you have any questions, put them in caps. If you're watching this over on YouTube, thanks for watching the color inspiration um, show with notebook idea and color combination keeping ideas. Again, if you just joined us, we talked about making notebooks uh, to keep your ideas in, whether it's for color combinations or just to remember what you use on which page because if you're like me and you color tons of different pages go to the bright orange you're, you might forget what colors you're using on what book and then go to the cat Hey, Jen. Anybody else I missed? Thanks, everybody, for being here. We're thinking this is a chandelier. <laughs> going a little darker still under those petals right there. So do any of you already keep some kind of a notebook of color combinations? I gotta sharpen this one. Not till now. <laughs> oh, good, Cece. And again, even if you don't, you're not a color book, a colorist in a color book. It's it's um, like I said, my notebooks are from way before I ever did, you know, coloring color books. All right, let's go over here to this. Uh, I think I'll go with the carmine. Get those that are in shadow on this side. And then go with the uh, orange. And then the light orange on this side. Thanks, Kimmy Poo. Okay. 
We're supposed to be getting some rain in here shortly. You put them in your planner under pallets. Yeah. Hi, Twinkie. So shade on this side here. A little bit brighter over here. A carmine red in the middle, which to me is more orange than red. It's very subtle and it may not show up on camera. I don't know. Doing my best here, guys, with the lighting. And I am zoomed in. Okay, let's go down here to this bit. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I got my garden in. If y'all were here at the beginning of the show, showed that and showed some of my purchases over the weekend. Got a few things, Michaels and light orange over here. See now, right here when I painted, I got really got out of line there. And I'm just going to try to kind of white it out with a Posca. Okay, I think I want that in right back in there, orange. Just to kind of distinguish those. And I might want these little stripes orange too. And then dark shadow on this side. Something like that. Okay, let's go up here. Somehow it went it went pink on us. <laughs> I lock in the light, but sometimes it's just like doesn't matter if I lock it in. It wants to do its own thing. And it went a little pink. Still a little pink, but It got dark outside, so it got changed in here. Okay. Any questions or anything, guys? We good? Let me go off this lighter. It's supposed to look... Oh, it, the, this looks orange? Yeah, I'm talking about the paper. Doesn't the paper look pink to you? Have a pink tinge to it off and on?
Thanks, guys. Yeah, about got the orange part done. Oops. Yeah, it's supposed to, this is supposed to be orange. I mean, the color here. Because remember, this is the color that we went with with the Neo color. You know, and I don't know why. I mean, I'm trying to get, get rid of that pink. Can't go too blue. <laughs> you know, I don't want to go too blue. You like to pay? Oh, good. Thanks, Scooby. Is that any better? I don't know. Okay, let's go with. Uh, oh, we got this one last little thing down here. The shade on the side there. And now let's get a little orange on this side. And a little carmine red in the middle. Just like that. Maybe a little darker over here. It's calming to see. I know. I like watching coloring, too. Okay. I think I want this little bit to be orange. So let's put that in. Shade with a little of the carmine. Oh, good to have you, Dana. All right, now let's go over to some blue and gray. All right, I'm going to start with my indigo and the light blue. And then I have the medium blue, which is a different shade of blue. We have two shades of blue. We have this shade of blue, and then this is the indigo. So I'm going to start with the indigo one. You finally did an acrylic wash? It's so, it's so much quicker, isn't it? <laughs> when you put a wash on it before you do pencil. Whether you use Neo Color or whatever you use, so much you get so further along. See, like all this. I mean, I, I I literally colored the whole thing with the base coat. What, 15, 20 minutes maybe? Not that you need to hurry. I'm not going to suggest that you just need to hurry your coloring, but um, you get right to the point of it when you have a wash down, whether it's acrylic or watercolor. All right, now I'm going to take the light blue and kind of blend that in. You know? All right, now I'm going to do these arms. And they have little bumps on them, like little, remember, it's some kind of an organic living light fixture. <laughs> So, again, whether we finish this or not, it's all about, for me, sharing the ideas with you guys. Sharing, you know, how you can have different mediums and make some things a little quicker or... Or whether you, you know, want some new color combinations or if you're afraid to go outside the lines... 
like I'm adding a couple extra little bumps here because I think it needs a couple more. Go on this side, and again, I think I want to add a couple extras right in there. These colors look so good, I know, right? And you didn't even have to pick them, or I didn't, or we didn't have to pick them, they were picked for us. <laughs> shadow under this one and I'll go down the and shade these and that's a different blue there That's a different blue, those two. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's pick a chart pack question. Chat pack. Chat pack question. Let me pick out a couple of questions. Remember we did this on, was it Saturday or Monday? I don't even remember. We, add, we did some random conversation starters. Let's do a couple more of those. All right, this is a good one, all right? If you were told you could watch only one television show a week for the next 12 months, if you could only watch one show for a year, what show would you choose to watch? And I'm going to put it in caps, guys, so I can see if you're talking, saying it. i got to sharpen my pencil here. You like the, you like the chat packs? Yeah. <laughs> Designated Survivor, Survivor. Scandal, Gilmore Girls, Criminal Minds, Jeopardy, <laughs> Julie, I love you, Julie, Survivor, Supernatural, Doctor Who, Survivor, Survivor, General Hospital, Ustream, ah, Marilyn, <laughs> good answer, Marilyn, <laughs> good answer, uh, Karen, Karen says uh, Walking Dead, Supernatural, Walking Dead, Coloring, book oh what coloring book is this <laughs> it's a walk in eden designated survivor second choice blind spot the walking dead prison break game of thrones remember you only get one show for a year choose wisely <laughs> archer game of thrones Coffee in the morning. <laughs> oh, you girls are sweet. 
Antique Roadshow, The Middle. Oh, I used to love watching The Middle. I haven't watched it in a long time, though. I used to watch it all the time. Denise is the one that told me about The Middle. I'd never heard of it until she's... And this was years ago, though, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I haven't watched it lately. All right. Do I have all the dark blue? I, I don't know. I think I want this to be dark blue, too. It needs a little up there. Ghost Asylum, Mountain Monsters, Bar, <laughs> Mountain Monsters. Uh, we, we all, in, in the family, we all kid each other about Mountain Monsters and big Finding Bigfoot. <laughs> I think Hubs just got my nieces scared to stay down at the lake overnight. <laughs> Twin Peaks, Mount Monsters, because I'm waiting for one of them to shoot the other one. <laughs> oh my gosh, Barb! <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take my light blue and do a little and do some blending here. Just kind of feather it out just a little. Yeah, I know. I know, right? Okay, time to ask another question then. I think we all answered that one. I don't need, you know, I don't know what I would what I would want. Let's see, let me think for a minute. I mean, of course I love Survivor. But unless they're out there surviving for a year, I don't, I don't want to watch any Survivor reruns. <laughs> you know what I mean? If they did new Survivors over and over for a year, then I would pick Survivor. But I don't you know, don't think that they would. All right, so let's pick another question while I go on to the next blue. How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. All right, I need a little shading, more shading over here. Let me take my indigo and just lightly shade here. I want a shadow on that white. And then I'll take the blue and kind of just go over the whole thing because the dots would be in shadow too, right? The dots would have a shadow on them as well. Something like that. Maybe a little more. Feather it out. Something like that. Thanks, Laura. All right, let's pick another question. Hopster took my coffee cup and said he'd bring me some. What the? That was 20 minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> See, when he's home, he's got to work. Oh, wait. Uh, no, that's a different blue. And that's a different blue. Okay. Let's pick another question. <laughs> um... I don't want to do more vacation stuff. Let's see. Okay, here's a good one. Assuming that, first off, it says, if you could go back in time and ask any famous person in history one question, who would you ask and what would you ask? And we're going, it says, assume that you would be given a completely honest answer. So, you know, you're not, you're not going to be tricked, you know, give a wrong answer. So, if you could go back in time and ask any famous person in history one question, 
Who would you ask the question to and what would you ask? While we continue on with the grays. Sharpen up my dark gray first. Okay. And I'll try to catch some of your answers. Who would you ask and what would you ask? While I do these little branch things here. Who killed JFK? You'd ask JFK who killed... Well, he wouldn't know. He, well, I mean, he would, like, you know, if he was knowing things after death. But I'm saying... <laughs> Janet. Um, assuming he knows things after death, but he wouldn't know. You'd have to ask. You'd have to ask uh, someone that would really know. Uh, Miss Aroma, no, Nostradamus. Are you just making this up? <laughs> uh, Marilyn Monroe, were you murdered? Um, Scott Eastwood, will you marry me? <laughs> Uh, and, and a lot of things are like, who killed, y'all would want to know who killed people. I mean, who killed different famous people. Isaac Newton, could I be your apprentice? Yeah, yeah, now that one, I would, I would go along with that one right there, Aroma. <laughs> Dad goes, Henry VIII, wasn't one wife enough? <laughs> Picasso, how how are you so prolific? He would probably say putting in the time. He did have some comments on on uh, on some things like that. <laughs> oh, ask Jesus, how can we get this thing called life right? Kmore, I would ask my infant son if he knew that. I, oh, that's nice, Kmore. Of course he does. Of course he would. <laughs> Y'all, what? All right, let's let me ask you this question another way. Other than people that have died, and how who killed them? Like you know who shot Jr. I mean, Azure says, "What really happened to your ear, to Van Gogh?" I just saw another little thing on him over the weekend. It was like on the museum, you know, the, you know, that museum show. What's it called? Not history at the history at the museum. What's happening at the museum? Anyway, they did a little Van Gogh thing on that. The, apparently, he was shot in the stomach. Not he couldn't have killed. He didn't commit suicide. In other words, somebody shot him in the stomach. He didn't try. He didn't kill himself. Um, you just did, okay, all right, CC. Uh, <laughs> well, um, Barb said to tell Adam not to listen to Eve about that tree. Well, you know, he was standing right there, don't you? <laughs> he heard everything. He was standing right there. It said that she took the fruit and handed it to him. He was standing right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. That did kind of surprise me too, Vicky. how many people want to know who killed certain people. Howard Hughes, how to be a millionaire. Uh, all right. I got enough down here. Now with the light gray, now I got to blend out the dark gray here. I'm looking for things in caps. Alright, should we move on to another question? I'm just blending out this dark gray now in these little little vine branchy things. Now that's not a mystery though. Carol Renee says, Eileen, why do you hate flamingos? There's a story behind that. We've heard it. Some of us have heard it. She probably doesn't want to talk about it right now. You know, it's very triggering. <laughs> Or Eileen. <laughs> J. 
Janet wants to ask. I hope I already cussed out. So, yeah, um, uh, 24. Wants, she wants him to come stay the weekend. <laughs> Janet's a harmless cougar. That's what she likes to call herself. Terry goes, next. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm just picking random. I'm just picking random things out of the box here. <laughs> picking a few and kind of going. If they're asking like, where would you want to go on holiday or vacation? We did a bunch of those last time. Um. Oh, um, nah. Maybe Christmas. Nah. Well, I wouldn't ask that because that, apparently it says, well, if you could witness any specific moment, what would it be? And I, I don't want y'all to say, you know, who died. So let's go on from that. Okay, here's one. What is one piece of advice you wish you could pass along to everyone else? Did you, yes, I used Neos to do a wash on this, Chatty Kathy. I did. And I, I covered uh, I covered what colors I used and everything. And we're basing it off of a design-seeds.com. Show you that again. Uh, color combination. These color combinations right here. So what piece of advice? I'll tell you this was hilarious. It's not the piece of advice I'd really, you know, want to tell everybody. But, oh, my gosh, did y'all see that video where the guy double parked? I saw it on Facebook, but uh, the guy double parked in a crowded in a, a crowded parking lot. So two guys with Jeeps parked on either side of them, and he couldn't get in his car. Oh, that was hilarious. Um, Eileen says, don't buy art supplies that you will always be broke. <laughs> Just try, you'll never get better if you don't try. That's good, Aaron. Be kind. Breathe and chill. It gets better. Um, it's going really fast, guys. Thank you. I uh, like the color theme. Positive. Oh, so I missed that one. Make time for those you who love you and, and that you love. Keep your eyes and ears open and mouth shut. And you'll learn a lot. Young people, especially women, enjoy your healthy bodies. Stop picking apart your looks. Be strong and healthy. Uh, don't worry about your other what other people think about you most of the time. I, I go along with that one, rawr, cat. Can't worry about what other people think. Because if you're constantly... And, not, and that doesn't mean like, you know, you go out and neglect your kids or something like that. That's not, I don't think, what anybody means. But you can't worry about what other people think about your dreams and things like that because they'll stop you. Tell you, they'll stop you. <laughs> yeah, Whippy, don't let others take your happiness with their opinions. Exactly. Um, Every day is a new chance for a do-over. Don't listen to Eileen. She will make you broke. <laughs> oh, be nice to your parents and siblings. Life's too short to do. Life's too short. Do what you like to do. Yeah. Live and let live. Listen to your parents. Well, you know, we just told everyone this on YouTube. That's right. <laughs> We just gave everybody all our advice, right? <laughs> okay, so I got that little bit down there. Now let's go up here to... I'm not sure if I had that in gray or not, but it's gonna. we're going to put it in gray now. All right, hang on, guys. I'll get us another question. Let go and let God. That's a good one, Kimmy Poo. One of mine, I guess, I would say, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. All right. Let's get this, keep moving forward on this little guy right here. All righty. See? Kind of fun, huh? Just picking colors that are already chosen. You don't have to 
worry about oh what colors you know we just went with five colors here and then shades you know yeah dot says if only reason for not doing something is because you're afraid to try then do it do it afraid all right let's see i think i need this right here to be gray i'll put a gray and then a light gray All right, that, this right up in here. Let me sharpen again. Keep swimming. Yeah, that's it. That's, a, that's it. Keep moving forward. All right, light, gray, a little bit more dark right in here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> All right, I got a couple little bit more gray up here. So I'm going to keep working up here. A little shadow right there. And the light gray. To blend it out. All right, let me find y'all another question. Find just all a question. All right, let's see. Um, oh, if you were to write a book, what would you choose as a topic? What topic? Am I getting a message? Okay. If you could write a book, what topic would you choose? I'm going to get right in this little crevice here. We're coloring the chandelier in A Walk in Eden by Anders Nielsen. This is the book that Laura sent me. Miss Aroma, my fascinating self, of course. CC would write one on pain, flint. <laughs> That's what you'd write a book on, flint? Unrequited love. Writing one fair. Oh, you are writing one on fairies. Okay, Claudia. And Aaron already writes no, uh, romance novels. Bright creativity. Whippy on grief. My life as a nurse. Is it like a um, emergency? In, oh, uh, like a critical unit nurse? I don't know what that that meant. Uh, Carol Renee would write mysteries. I would write mysteries too. Mysteries would be what I would write. But I would want historical mysteries. Um, Janet would say, How to Survive as a Goofball. Dark likes this book, Dark and Lady. Kimberly, how about how to stay happy through cancer? Terry would write one on sarcasm, a cozy mystery. I like cozy mysteries, too, but I like other mysteries, too, Dazzled. But I do like my cozy mysteries, too. Um, yeah, a lot of y'all would uh, write on your pains and your diseases. Eileen says she's going to write one on how you stream takes over your day. <laughs> Eileen, I love you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, these two are gray. That one's blue. Okay. <laughs> yes, cat fell. That's what I would, that kind of thing. I actually started one uh, about, uh, actually start my blog, my first blog about 11 or 12 years ago was, but back then blogs didn't do sequential. I mean, they only did sequential. You couldn't like back up. It was weird when blogs first came out. It's not like they are today. And it was too hard to write a story on a blog back then. But it was, I think I titled it Monk's Mail or something like that. I forget now. I still have it somewhere. But I did the art for it, too. Like I did scrolls and calligraphy and 
you know, I'll, bye, Fee, love you. You're going to the west of the island for ice cream. Okay. Fee's on the Isle of Man. Um, good to see you, Fee. Because I love Cadfell, but I didn't want to do anything exactly like Cadfell. Well, you couldn't, you know. But I love Cadfell. And, and Lady Jan told me about a nun series. And I haven't had a chance to go on Amazon and get it and all that yet, but she told me. Let me, um, I think she messaged it to me. I can probably tell you what it was if anybody's interested. Because I love me some Cadfell. Uh, let me go to my messenger. I think she, she told me about it in messenger. Um, let's see. Scrolling back. Sister Fidelma, Fidelma, F-I-D-E-L-M-A. Sister Fidelma. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm sure I could look it up. Fidelma, Fidelma, Sister Fidelma, the sister, and I just got a little tiny thing here from Wikipedia, the Sister Fidelma mysteries are a series of historical mystery novels and short stories by Peter Tremaine, pseudonym Peter Ellis, and that's funny because Ellis Peters was the name of the woman used to write um, Cadfell about a fictional detective who is, and that's all I got. The rest is on, yeah, that's all. She just, she just copied a little link for me. Uh, wouldn't someone steal your work on a blog? Well, a couple things about that. One, <laughs> I wanted it to be a story out there. I was going to write it not like a book, but as a, as a blog story. I was going to post it as that. Here's the thing about, and I'll keep coloring while I'm talking about it. Here's the thing about posting any of your work online. Whether it's art, story, comic books, anything. Well, I thought you might have got lost. Thanks, honey. Um, he just brought me some coffee. What, No matter what it is online, anybody, somebody could steal it for sure. And uh, the thing is, though, there's one thing is, is if you're the first one to put it out there because it's on a blog or an art post, it's dated. That's your copyright. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I know that some artists have had their stuff stolen and printed in China and whatnot. And you could fight that kind of thing. But... How are you going to fight someone stealing your stuff in China or any country? How are you going to fight that, really? You know, get you an international copyright lawyer? Well, you know, good luck to you with that, <laughs> you know? Um, what I found that most artists do, and I'm sure it could be with anything else, is people call you out on it. They'll call out that person if that stole the art. Like I know somebody, this was a few years ago, they saw their t-shirt, their design, I think it was some kind of a dog. Was it a pug? I don't remember. They saw their uh, animal illustration on t-shirts in Target or Walmart. I don't remember. And so they got a hold of Target or Walmart and, and fought it that way. Because they had their stuff published online. Watermarks aren't going to do anything, Eileen. Because people can take watermarks off. Anybody that, you know that. You Photoshop or do Digi rather. You know that that can be removed. Um, anyway, um, I forgot where I was going now. They could, um, oh, so your stuff is, you can prove like she could prove to Target that her stuff was on out there before that other person stole her pug or whatever design. Because it was online, she was protected. Do you see what I'm saying? So, the fact that you put it online protects you. But again, there's always going to be people that are going to do stuff like that. And, you know, you can do your best. You can, And then if we all, if there was a bunch of artists. You know, we've done it before, I think. I don't remember. It was a few years ago. We called somebody out on copying something, but I don't remember. Um, yeah, if they're selling your work, you should fight it if possible. 
But if it's some company, now you'd have to, like this person, I'm sure this stuff was printed in China from Target or Walmart. But they went to Target and Walmart to fight it. They couldn't go to China. You know, and Target and Walmart probably bought it in good faith. They didn't know it was stolen. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, and how you, you can fight it as much as you can fight something. You know, but I, I mean, I don't know many artists that are wealthy and I mean, Disney, Disney could fight it, you know. But most of us could, probably couldn't. All right, I need some, I need some dark blue on this little stem. It's getting lost in the gray. There, that's better. All right, so do I get all the gray done? I think I got all the gray done. And some of this, like the even the gray got a little lost. If I want to, just like I showed you on the werewolf, you can go back over it with the Posca, brighten it up, and then go back over it with the light gray so that you retain some of those highlights that kind of might have got a little lost. See? Now I can go back over that with the gray and uh, light gray and still keep that vibrancy. Okay, same thing. This one's okay. I can see lot, lots of light and dark there. Um, this one may be a little bit here. Go back over that because it kind of got a little lost. And if y'all miss the rest of the werewolf, um, I did, um, if you're watching this show, that doesn't really work anymore, Whippy. Yeah. That, that, that's not, that, that used to be a thing you could do, but really, if you're posting online, that is your copyright. So, like, if I would have posted that monk story 12 years ago, and I had it online on my blog from 12 years ago, and then somebody came and did it today and copied it exactly, I have the proof that I did it 12 years ago. You see what I'm saying? Although it's not public anymore. It, that's beside the point. Um, so when you post your work online, that is your copyright. Like if I post, um, you know, a pet portrait that somebody commissioned me to do and I post it online and somebody copied it and put it on a t-shirt, I have it online. Anybody can go on Facebook at X day, day so-and-so and see that I did that. Do you see what I'm saying? So it really is beneficial, in my opinion, it's beneficial to post your stuff out there openly. And anybody can steal things. And there's always going to be thieves out there, right? But... If you post it online, you have the proof that you did it. You know? Um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, oh, the werewolf. So if you all were if you were here on Saturday and you saw me work, I'll show it again when I'm done here. How? What time have we got here? We're good. We're at two hours. Got about thirty more minutes. Um, that video would not upload to YouTube. Every now and then, you streamers, and we all have it happen to us. We'll get there'll be a glitch or something, and for whatever reason, one of our videos won't load. Um, so you'll have to go to Ustream to watch the end. And I didn't finish it, but I'll show you what I did finish here in a minute, in case in case you didn't get to see it. Uh, what if we post? What's well, the same thing? It's it's out there. What I'm saying, Whippy, is if you post it out there. It's out there, so anybody can see the date, you know. But anyway, oh, right in here. This was the other place. And that's just my opinion, guys. I'm not a lawyer, <laughs> you know, a copyright lawyer, whatever. You know, if you're that worried about it, then, you know, you'll have to take your own precautions to do what you think. will help, you know, protect your stuff. That's, you know, that's in your hands. Okay, I think I want some more, a little bit of highlight on this little acorn, not acorn, uh, yeah, maybe acorn, this little uh, 
pine cone, acorn looking thing. I want a little bit of highlight over there. All right, now let me go with the uh, other shade of blue. The, this blue and the light blue. These two blues now. Instead of the indigo and the light blue, this, this uh, true blue. Oh, you got my cross stitch, but oh, yay button. Exactly, exactly bright. It's, uh, it's out there. All right, so now let me go ahead. I'm going to get crackle I'm going to try to get as much as I can done on this in 30, you know, the last 30 minutes we have here. Maybe just a little cast shadow on this side, just the slightest bit. Right down there in the crevice. Okay, it's time for another question. Let's do another chat card. All right, a little very lightly. I'm trying to keep it a very light touch. If you want to layer lots of layers, you got to have a light, light touch. I had someone say, what would, advice would you give for a color pencil for a beginner? And that would be the my number one, number one advice, light layers. That would be the number one thing I would tell people. All right, let's see how light or how dark the light blue is. Yeah, that'll work. It's just dark enough to give it a shadow. But yeah, there's all kinds of opinions on copyright and all that stuff out there. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm just saying, you are you know, the chances of something happening to, you know, getting your, your work copied or stolen out there, you know. And then there's the fan art issue and all that. That's a whole nother topic. So well, I'm not going to get into all that. <laughs> that's for sure. All right. So we're getting there. See how that's kind of rounding it out a little? I need some more of the dark blue. All right. Let's ask another question. Never said what before. <laughs> Terry, I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> Thanks, Eileen. Um, mm. Okay, well, probably most of us would, would probably say pictures or some kind of memento. The question was, was what is one item you own that has no monetary value, but is so sentimental you would not sell it for any amount? I, I'm going to go in here with a little bit of indigo, too, just on the edges here. I want it just a little darker. See how that makes a difference? Just that little bit extra dark here. And I know, you know, a lot of us it would be pictures or some childhood toy or something given to us. But, you know, I'm, I mean, that's kind of like, I think everybody has. Unless someone's got something really particular. Thanks, Scooby. I'm working it. And, I, again, I'm using the colors based off of the uh, Design Seed colors in case. Let me show it one more time. I'm not going to sip of my coffee. Here's the colors we're using from design-seeds.com and you can get them to email you colors every day. Your mother's ring, your dog, your sanity. <laughs> Aroma. <laughs> Let me take a sip of coffee here, guys. <laughs> A stuffed Mickey that you had when you were seven. Your dad's American flag and medals in the shadow box. Yeah, Terry, yeah. 
So a lot of it's jewelry and sentimental jewelry from your family. Get this like blended out a little right here. And then I'm going to take the blue blue and add a little bit more shadow. Oops, I think I might have went a little too dark there. Got a little too blue. And that's okay. I'll just continue it down. <clears throat> Your first painting, dish towels that you got when you first moved into your first apartment. From my best friend's grandma. Oh, that's nice, Steffi. Your grandfather's dog tags. The wing earrings that your daughter was wearing. Oh, oh, whippy. Yeah, see, everybody has those really, really special. Okay, let me go on to another question while I'm finishing up this. I'm going to blue get that out right there. Oops, I missed this top one. You all have good answers for the questions. Mother's wedding ring made into a pendant. Oh, that's nice, Dot. Yeah. All right, just kind of softening these edges here. Very soft blend. Okay. Let's see where we got to go down here next. Again, we're using the other blue, not the indigo blue, but the but the uh, like true blue and then the light blue to kind of blend it out. And now I want to go back. Let me now that the Posca where I added the white Posca, I want to go back over it with the light gray so it just knocks back the white just a little there and here. Of course, you can always leave it that bright white if you like it. And then over here. That one I didn't add any. Okay, and then the orange ones, I added a couple of places. I added white on the orange, so let me knock that back. Oh, I missed this one with the light gray. Did I? No. All right, now here. Just takes the white off. <clears throat> oh, a bluebird of happiness necklace. Oh, thanks, Vicki. Okay, so I got to do this light blue areas here and the um, and this crystal here. And I think that's all. All right, let me ask another question. Let's see. I think I answered or went through those. Let's get another little pile out of the middle. What size Posca is this? It's a 0.7, I think. fine it's not the finest fine because Jean told me it wasn't there's a finer tip one I would just get whatever the smallest <laughs> the smallest one you could probably see or that's offered wherever you're buying it yeah they should say like I get mine at jet pins it should say 0 0.7 0 0.0 whatever medium fine point it should say would help a screenshot of the shading of which piece I'll hold it up for you Flint um, like here do you want to screenshot that or right there you want to try that right there let me know I'm holding it for you Flint Rebecca 
Thanks, Dazzled. Yeah, I didn't pick the colors. We went from design-seeds.com. Did you get it? And it's probably going to be a little fuzzy because it's not... And I smeared something right there. I don't know what I did. I think I have something on my hand. Let's see if I can remove that. You're welcome. Here, this shading's pretty good right there. It's not autofocus, but maybe right there. That one right there with the dots. Inventory of all the coloring books and type. Put them into the book. Yes, see, you can put your color book. List all your color books like Terry L. just said. For those of y'all who don't know, we were talking about making a notebook earlier. Talking about making a notebook for your color combinations, your swatches, like swatching out all your Prisma colors, your ink tints, your Neo colors, um, and then your design seed combinations or your um, combinations based on the swatches that you can get at the paint store. You can put um, oh, uh, just color ideas and like Terry L said, all your color books. And you can also make a chart. I mean, uh, make a page where, like, 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 let's say, a walk in Eden. If I didn't finish this, or even if I did finish it, if I wanted to remember what I used on this, I could write down these neo colors and these color pencils, and write them on a page so that I remember what I use. Because I can guarantee you, um, in a week from now, I won't remember all. I mean, I'll tell you, I'll remember I used a design seed. But will I remember all this? No. Yes, he did bring me coffee, <laughs> Elizabeth. He snuck in here and brought me hot coffee. Let me take a sip. So, if you want to remember what you used, what supplies, and what uh, page, you know. All right, so let me go now with my uh, the 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 two blues, the light blue and the um, true blue. Let me sharpen those little babies up. Pictures from trips abroad. These are experiences you had. May forget. Will remind me of what you did and who you did it. Yeah, I mean, you know, any anything, anything that works for you. All right, now I'm going to come down here with the true blue and the light blue and do this and the little uh, geodome or whatever that is. Oh, did I say we're going to do another? Um, okay, if, if someone had asked you one adjective that describes you, what do you think would... Wait, let's see. Oh, no, that's of each. Well, I'll, I'll just reword it to make it you instead of a whole bunch of people because it's asking about a whole bunch of people. Um, what what one word would describe you? If you had to tell somebody, this describes me, what one word, what one word would it be while well, I'm coloring this? <laughs> And I'll try to catch them. I know, isn't it pretty together, Barb? The blue and the orange? I know. Light layers. i got to kind of remember that while I'm talking. You, Aaron said she was voted most unique. Aroma, saucy, taps, introvert. Dorothy, you would not say that. Terry L, stubborn. Ter Terry Trouble, sarcastic. Vicki S, cheerful. Carol Renee, loyal. Rachel L, artistic. Dazzled. Annoying. <laughs> Button said weird. 
Abby Girl Zen, Scrap Chic Funny. Hey, Colleen, by the way. Or Awkward, I'm bad at social stuff. Straight Shooter was Bright Meadow. Nerdy, Amex. Kenny, Loyal, Palm, Different with quotes. <laughs> Don't know what that means, buddy. Honest, whippy, easygoing, Miss Aroma, lazy. <laughs> All right, now that's how you would describe yourself. How would other people describe you? Mountain Dreamer said, "A doer, Eileen, perfect, <laughs> Eileen." Oh, Eileen. Now, how would other people describe you? <laughs> you girls are going to crack me up. All right, now I'm going to take the light blue and blend this out. <laughs> a real PETA. Eileen, you are. You are a PETA, Eileen, but we love you. We love your pita ness. <laughs> I dread to think. <laughs> Eccentric, Julie Tobas. Chatty, sarcastic, offensive, fun. Annoying, <laughs> Dazzle described herself as annoying, and she said other people think she's annoying. <laughs> you like the pita ness, Eileen? <laughs> we love your pita ness. <laughs> Loving and generous. Oh, that's a good one, Melody. Intense. Miss Aroma, motor mouth. <laughs> Nitpicky. You know, I'm waiting on the mail. I thought I just heard, because uh, my um, magicals are supposed to be delivered today. I wanted to show, is that the mailman? No, I have to ask, wait, maybe it is. He it is, it's a mailman. Let's see if he gets out. No, he didn't get out. Oh, I wonder if I didn't get him today. Either that or she dropped and ran. Because it said that I was going to get him today. Unless they, they probably fit in the mailbox that quick. Do you think she could have done a drive-by that quick and threw those magicals in the mailbox? Could it be? Could they be here? Palm says, different as well. I think I've been told many times your mind just works differently than most people. Hopefully they... Hopefully kind-hearted. Oh, that's nice, Scoops. I would say you're kind-hearted, Scoops. I wonder if Hubster's down there. Let me yell down. I'm going to yell down to him. You could call me loud. <laughs> Hubster! Can you go see if my magicals came in the mail today? <clears throat> it's, it's already starting to rain and blow. He'll have to go get the umbrella and stuff. <laughs> I don't want to go out in the rain. He wants me to go out with him a little while. I said, well, it's supposed to rain. He goes, we're not going to melt. We won't melt in the rain. I know, I know. So he's going to go out and see if my magicals came. If they did, then we'll show them. So isn't that looking kind of cool right there, guys? It's looking kind of cool. Supposed to get the Paris and Osborne doodling coloring books. I like Os. I guess it's Osborne, Usborn, U.S. Born. I mean U S B O R N E. I like their books. They're they're fun. They're kid. They're usually kid books. I love them. They have awesome stuff. Yeah, he's gonna go see. Hang on, guys. <laughs> All I got left is this, and then we'll back out. See, look, it's come. Did I get anything? No, just some research on arthritis. Uh, research on arthritis. I didn't get it then. Well, dang, it said it was supposed to be delivered today. Do you think it'd be a separate delivery? It could be a separate delivery then. 
because sometimes that happens not very often but once in a while because it said it was going to be here today <sighs> well it'll be here by wednesday then and we'll, we'll do it on wednesday <laughs> You're getting the Caribbean set today. I ordered the Caribbean or Caribbean. Uh, the, the Halloween colors, the purple, black, you know, those colors, green. And um, what was the other one? Graffiti, Mad Max graffiti or something like that. I forget. Anyway, those are the ones that I, I got three sets. I know, right? Dang. Okay, let's do this up here. <laughs> I'm trying to finish this before our time runs out. Uh, we got about 15 minutes, I think. 15 no, it's going to come, it's it's supposed to come just regular mail. It's coming from Lindy's. Um, Janet or, or Eileen, did y'all just get yours when you bought it from Amazon? Did it just come regular mail? I don't, I don't, that doesn't happen here. We don't get two to, we don't get two to three deliveries in a day. We may get two on a holiday season like Christmas, but that's rare. It's rare. It'll probably come tomorrow. Yeah, I can track it, but I can't track it right. I guess I could track it right now. I, I just didn't really want to leave the stream. Let me go over here. Let me see. Let's see. Hang on. Um, see, it says it's supposed to be here by 8 p.m. It's at my, it said it was at my post office at 4.45 this morning. So, I don't know. My mailman or my mail lady just drove through. I didn't get it. Yeah. You got yours UPS, but Janet, did you get special uh, shipping? Knowing you, Janet, you just like to have your UPS man deliver yours. So, Janet pays extra for shipping. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do a little bit of geodome-ish stuff here. I probably should look at a crystal geodome to see how it's shaded. But I'm just kind of winging it here, guys. If you really want it to be, like, let's see. <clears throat> let's see. Crystal. Let me just look something up. And there's thousands of them on Pinterest. And let me just go here, though. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Maybe crystal geodome. I'm not sure what to really look up. I have to do a little research. Let's see. Got plenty. See, I'm probably, if I click on something like this, we might get more like that that's that's too um these are too wiry i don't want a wiry looking one i want more of a let's see something like this maybe that something like that Oh, yeah, I know. I was just hoping to have it here for you guys today. It'll just have to be Wednesday. I'm just kind of making this up. I want this to be brighter in here, though, so let me kind of go along some of these edges here. But anyway, hopefully this will load up not with no trouble. Again, if you want to see the werewolf one, it's not done. I haven't worked on it anymore. It's not done. But I did work on it. I did the trees. Showed how to do the trees. Something like that. I want to keep it light right here in the center. So I want to go to the light blue. And I can always go in here with also with the white Posca. Let's kind of 
kind of just shade that side. Blend this a little. We'll back out and look at it. Could probably even put some uh, stickles on this or some um, Wink Stella or something, you know, something glittery on this dome would probably look cool. I'm not going to do that today, but you could. All right, now let's take the Posca. Let's do a little bit of. reflection. So Janet's going to stream at 1, her usual time on Monday. Um, Monkey Island Madness. She's messaging me. Oh, she wants some fresh veggies. She's probably talking to my sister who's already got hers grown. No, she <laughs> she means me in my garden, which just I just planted it yesterday. She's not gonna be getting anything out of it, you know, anytime this week. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just kind of messing with this guys and seeing what it'll look like just to put these shapes in white on top of the blue. I can always go back over it again with the blue, which you know I'm gonna add the light to it. Okay, something like that. Eh, it's okay. Could be a little better. Neater. So yeah, Janet's Monkey Owl Mass and the Jean Music the Musical Scrapper. Uh, these are on Ustream and YouTube. Um oh, it comes on at four. I think I want to almost lighten up some of those lines. Kind of break up those black lines a little. To give it more shine. Alright, let's make sure it's dry. And then I'm just going to go over some of it with the blue to shade it back but still keep the vibrancy. Something like that? Eh, it's okay. I'm not completely happy with this, but... Alright. Okay, let's back out and see what we got. Back, back in one, two, focus. Come on, focus. I need my calendar here. I need this to focus. Let's get it focused back in. I'm trying to get rid of the pink. There we go. So, there we go, guys kind of how it looks the whole thing that's pretty good so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this, seeing this. Y'all like it? Okay, good. There we go. I'll take a picture of it and post it on Twitter. With all the pencils and the Neo colors that I used, I'll lay them out here for you. So you can see it better. Or lay them up here where you can see them. Or both. <laughs> So I'll uh, post a picture of this in just a minute. 
See, I just smeared something again. I got something, must be on my hand or something. I'm smearing a couple places here with dragging something across with my hand. There we go. So, thanks guys. I love the colors too. You can't raven if you practice. You gotta practice a little. And again, this is the book, A Walk in Eden, Andres Nielsen. And I'll, I'll post this and this side by side so you can see the cover of the book too. So you can see both. Okay? So thanks everybody for being here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah. Again, guys, remember design-seeds.com. I'll try to remember to put that link in the description box. So you can go and get color combinations. And don't forget, you know, make yourself make yourself some kind of a notebook for your colors. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to head out. Go hang out with the Hubster because he's off today and tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Design-seeds.com. It's got so many color combinations, thousands. And you, like I said, you can get them to email you one every day. So, all right, guys. Um, so, thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. Bye.